Hey everybody, I decided to uh, try something a little bit different today. Um, just uh, kind of introduce you to my world a little bit. This is just uh, this place called um, M Trade Park in Oxford, Mississippi. Um, there's the there's the mobile right there. Um, you know, as long as I've been doing YouTube lessons, and by the way, I'm probably gonna so I don't trip. Gonna be looking sort of straight ahead. I don't think I've ever sort of done a lesson while I'm walking. That, uh, in, in itself, that's sort of a strange thing. Um, also, it just occurred to me that I probably have never played uh, a blues harp. Why am I taking, well, this is out of the box. Why am I doing this today? Um, because for the past, oh, eight or nine weeks, uh, I've been teaching once a week at the Mississippi State Penitentiary, a place called Parchman Farm. Actually, I wanna walk back and leave this on the car. Um, Par Parchment Farm, you've heard about it, there's songs written about it, um, and I'm teaching a course that I have been teaching for my entire academic career, 25 years. It's, it's not a matter of mere, mere academic interest to me. A course on blues literature. Um, and we have a program called the Prison to College Pipeline Program at Parchment, so it's PTCPP. -P -P. Um, I'll include a link in the bottom of this video. Um, it's been an amazing experience uh, transformative experience. I hope to have more to, to tell you about it as we go. Um, and I realize I'm a, I'm a strange man talking to his iPhone with a harmonic in his hand, so I may have to maybe just go in circles uh, for a while. Thanks to Rick DeJong at Honer, um, I managed to score uh, a number of free Honer blues harps, and I realize I need to play this at some point to prove to you that it actually does work. Um, incredibly generous thing that they did to give me uh, complimentary blues harps for every man in the class. It is all men. I have uh, 10 students. Um, and so one thing we're doing is we're, we're sort of taking a break in the middle when we're not talking about David Honeyboy Edwards, uh, 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 The World Don't Owe Me Nothing, or Zora Neale Hurston, who we had this past week. Um, we did a, we did a, uh, we had a long conversation about their eyes were watching God. I've been doing blues poetry. We did August Wilson's wonderful play, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. I've been playing him lots of music. But we take a moment in the middle of class, not a moment, basically 15, 20 minutes, um, and we play harmonica. <laughs> and one of the strange things about it is that they, I, I bring their harmonicas every time I show up. Everybody has a sort of named case. They put a sticker on the, ca the, the case. And I distribute them, and then I have to collect them when we go, which is like a really, really weird thing. Um, they're just not allowed to have harmonicas back in the unit. Um, the unit I teach at is uh, called Unit 25. You can probably go to Wikipedia and look up the units at Parchman. So it's the most, I guess you'd say it's the most benign. It's called sort of the pre-release unit. Uh, I need to play some harmonica, I realize. I'm just talking. Again, different kind of lesson. Maybe... I'm out here because I'm not taking for granted the fact that I can be out here without fences and barbed wire around me. And yes, I understand, of course, people in prison did things that landed them in prison. Um, one of my students has been there 44 years, one's been there 35 years, one's been there 21 years. We don't talk about what got them there. What we talk about is how one survives years, uh, and we talk about what they're going to do when they get out, which in the case of most of them is going to be in the next year or two, uh, either through parole or through, you know, time served. Um, all that falls away, and it's just really a, an incredible classroom with, I have to say, some of the best students I've ever had, which is to say they're educating me as much as I'm educating them. What they don't know about blues, <laughs> um, it, it, you know, can't be recorded. They, they, they're just really uh, superb students. And they write, many of them write really well, um, but it's the insights they have in class that are remarkable. Um, what do you, so let's let's just get to the matter at hand. Um, imagine that you were going to teach harmonica to, to a, a room of 10 people, and imagine that they couldn't practice in between the, the classes. Like, what would you do? What, what can you do with almost no practice? And so it's made me really think hard about that, kind of what are the absolute fundamentals that we could have fun with? And so we do call and response. One thing we do is we just take that four draw. So here's actually, I should, brand new, never, lips never touch to this harp. So I, I, um, I have them play a chord, right? Yep. 
I would just do some breathing like that, kind of just an in and out chord pattern. And I introduced him to the idea of, and by the way, it has nothing to do with the blues lit, right? It's really just kind of hopefully a little value added, a little something they can take with them when they go. So they're definitely gonna get the harp. When they leave, when they walk through the gates, on, the, on release day, they're gonna have the harp. Um, and it'll be a memento. I had one guy who's actually leaving in like a week, Antonio, he said, can I take the harp? He's not actually in the class. He's kind of doing some custodial things for the first portion. So he's not there the whole time. What can we do though? Four draw. So one thing I had him do is say, guys, we're gonna, we're gonna tap our foot one, two, three, and I'm gonna go and a break and you go bum, bum, bum. So we go back and forth, call and response, which is really fun. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 right? That's something we can do. And then I'll, I went back and forth the other day. I said, okay, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna go four draw and then maybe I'm gonna go to two draw. So, and they go, and I go two draw. And they go, because two is really hard on the harp. And so, you know, and then everybody laughs. Maybe one guy can do it, one can't. I showed them a warble. It seems to me, a, in terms of quick start stuff that one might do with harp, um, a warble would be high on the list. So four draw. I said, let's just do that. Four draw, five draw, four draw. And they go, and I go, and they go, right? Sort of not quite as much articulation. Basic, the same as you. Basic stuff. Um, except these guys, many of them have been inside the walls of Mississippi's most notorious prison for years, decades. We're still just harmonica players. It's kind of a, it's kind of a nice thing to know. Um, we do a warble. And the other day, one of them, <laughs> One of them, you know, there there are no sort of natural blues singers. That's not what people are inside this prison. But they they have lots of blues things to talk about. But one of them was like, sort of grandstanding. I got the blues, and I went kind of behind him. Now, this I realize there's a, another thing here that I want to share with you, which is that this past Wednesday um, we had a reporter. I'm not going to name him, uh, that will all come very clear uh, in the not too distant future, a longtime reporter for NPR, um, National Public Radio, who heard that I was doing something interesting down there and he's covered lots of prison stuff over the years and so he actually accompanied me and my uh, TA, Morgan, Morgan McComb, uh, into the class in Unit 25. Um, so at some point in Probably the next five to four to six weeks, there will be a story on NPR that will be about this class. And um, with thanks to Rick DeJong and uh, the folks at Honer, um, this is really all I need to do right now. I just want to kind of do something a little bit different with, uh, you know, walking around with the iPhone. So enjoy your freedom if you've got it, if you're out there. Um, know that uh, there are some remarkable people who have uh, done their best to turn their lives around. Um, you know, this is not Unit 29, which is the tough place. This is not, these are not gang, gang bangers. Um, so they're, or well, one of them, yeah, he said, one of them said, yeah, that's what I was 20 years ago. Um, but he's our best student. Um, incredible insights about this. I want to say material, but what we're doing is not, it's not material. It's, it's life. Um, and uh, what I'll do, I think it'd be nice. Maybe I can, maybe I can um, share the syllabus that I'm using if you're interested in, 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 uh, reading some of these works. Um, okay, I think I'll do that. We're done now. Um, I'll see you soon. All right, bye-bye.